welcome to the Merriam-Webster's Dictionary of Synonyms and Antonyms. And today we're also doing our 10 words and today's day 10. So 10, 10, 100. Also, it's been 100 pages. Let's get to start with. Our first word is debase. Debase basically means you're corrupting someone, you're debasing a government, you're just corrupting that thing just so for your own wishes and intents. Like when uh, Al Capone debased the government, that basically means he just corrupted the government so that he could get all that good, good money. And next up, we have elevate, which is like the literal antonym of the debase. Our second word is delude. Delude basically means you're deluding someone, you're like uh, able to avoid when you're beguiling someone apparently that's the synonym and you're avoiding someone when you're deluding someone you're like hey yeah you're you, when you're delusional you're like uh mad all right our antonym for that is enlightened because in, when you're enlightened you're not delusional and when you're enlightened you know the true facts well then again you can't be enlightened on false facts but hey you can't always do things like that. Our third word is spurn. Spurn basically means you're like, hey, rejection, those kinds of things. And here we get words like repudiate. Our antonym here is crave. All right, our fifth word, uh, sorry, our fourth word is decorum. Decorum basically means the etiquette or the decency, like good etiquette, people, good etiquette. And our antonym is license. Our fifth word is abate. Abate basically means dwindle, which is like the literal synonym. And our antonym is augment. When you're abating something, the, like when supplies are abating, that means the supplies are dwindling, meaning they're getting less and less of supply. All right, next up we have disparage. Disparage basically means you're belittling someone. You're, you're like uh, moaning someone. You're like making fun of someone, which I highly suggest against. And that's considered bullying. So... Don't you dare do that. And of course, our antonym is applauding. When you're like saying happy, like you're making someone happy. All right, our seventh word is profound. Profound basically means abysmal, abysmal. Yeah, when you're in the abyss, you're like going through the abyss, through of space. And our antonym is shallow. Our eighth word is disfigure. Disfigure basically means the face and your antonym is literally adorned. So you're not adorning someone when you're disfiguring someone. You're like, when you're disfiguring your statue of Stalin, that basically means you just cut the nose from the statue by accident. That's what breaking Stalin's nose is about. Our ninth word is gainsay. Gainsay basically means contradiction. You're contradicting something and the antonym is you're omitting something. Our tenth word is covet. Covet basically means you're desiring something. You desire, you crave that thing. And of course, our antonym is renounce. And that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Until next time, shine out. Peace. Bye-bye. Wear a helmet.